What's going on guys? I'm gonna show you how to do OTDR testing on an Exvo OTDR. Um, currently we have a duplex fiber path. So notice on this end we have one LC connector plugged in. And on the remote end, uh, we actually have a duplex jumper, which is two fibers, but then they are reconnected to themselves. So the red fiber, I'm sorry, but the, the as you see on uh, this patch cord here, how there's a red and a white, on the remote end, the red and the white are connected to themselves, uh, creating one very long link that leads, leaves out on this side and comes back on this side, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go back down here to the OTDR, and we're gonna actually focus the screen here, and we're gonna open up the OTDR. So give it a second, it's gonna open the program. Okay, and I've already pre-configured these settings, um, but you'll notice that you have options for range, options for your pulse width, and options for your duration. That's how long you're gonna measure uh, when you do actually save your results. And notice we're doing single mode fiber, so uh, we're gonna be testing for 1310 and 1550. Um, and then we're just gonna start with real time. Uh, see right here it says real time. So uh, we'll just start that and give it a second here. And now we can see our link. So this is what a single mode fiber path should look like. So notice it starts over here. This is where we are in this room. It leaves, it hits another patch panel with a patch cord. It goes from there to another room where it hits another patch. And then from there it goes to the room uh, where our end location is. But instead of it ending there, we have it spliced back, or I'm sorry, not spliced back, but we have a jumper connected to itself which now the path goes back to the room, which is the same place where this one was, and then from there it goes back to the other room where this patch was, and then right here where we are. So this is what a single mode fiber path looks like on, an, on a loopback test from an OTDR. 